Okay, so this is not for D&D. I just wanted to build something cool. Hey everybody, John here for the Crafting Brothers. I'm gonna be building this really cool Century Gun Tower this week. And I wanted to point out a few things before I got started uh, that uh, I've got all these 3D printed files and I'm gonna share the links with you. So if you wanna go and print some of these, uh, you can do that. But I also wanted to point out that you can use Legos. If you have a bunch of old Lego pieces like this, I would highly suggest digging through it. Uh, if I was to point out some of the Legos on my structure here, the walkways, the ladder, the platform, some of the railings, I found some really cool Lego pieces. So don't forget to dig into your Lego bin. So let's get started building this really cool sentry tower right now. I found this defense sentry turret on the internet and I thought that is going to be perfect for what I want to build. So I'm going to start cutting out my pieces here and I'm just going to sort of improvise this. There's really not going to be any right or wrong measurement here, but I've just decided to use 5 degrees as the angle for the front part of this turret. After cutting the angled pieces for the front, I had to estimate the angle of the seams, which was about 30 degrees. Next, using a tin foil ball, I'm going to actually roll the granite texture onto the foam pieces. I'm cutting out the last two angled pieces for the main part of the structure here, and if I've guessed it right, hopefully they'll all fit together. Now it's time to start creating the middle and the back side of the sentry tower, and I've decided that a 6x9 size piece will work. After gluing on the last two angled sections on the front of the turret, I'm going to start working on the middle part. The measurement for the middle part is not that important, it just needs to be 6 inches high by 9 inches wide. Okay, so I am preparing to glue the top onto my gun turret sentry tower here. And this is what I'm going to use. I 3D printed this out. This was from another gun. And what I'm going to do to be able to make the guns rotate up here is I'm going to take, I've taken a, just cut out a round piece of foam. And then I have one of these pieces of Legos that has a little twisty thing on it. So I glued that to this piece and then I'll glue this to the top here and then I'll have a rotating base for my uh, minigun. So it's going to go something like this. This will go here and then my miniguns. I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to attach them, but they'll go up here somehow like that. I've also cut out some pieces to enclose the back part of this overhang area here. So when I line this up and glue it together, I'm actually going to enclose this whole back side here with a, with a little enclosure. Okay, so we've got these back pieces on here. I've just glued a couple of strips, one for support in the middle. And now we're gonna glue this to the top like this. So I'm ready to start my Mod Podge coat on a lot of these items, but I just wanted to show you what I did here. This is basically just one part of a gun turret. It was a 3D print file. And uh, I just took the turret part and I glued on a couple of industrial piping on the sides and a couple of Lego pieces on there just to dress it up. And uh, now I'm gonna go ahead and paint everything with uh, Mod Podge and black paint. And I'll skip this step so you don't have to watch it. Now we're gonna give the entire structure a coat of pewter gray. If you are interested in any of these 3D files, I'll make sure to leave a link in the comment section. So the paint scheme for the doors and shutters is going to be metallic bronze and gunmetal. Now for the main part of my turret, it's going to be the mini guns that go on top and I have 3D printed two of these. 
After assembling and gluing the pieces together off the printer, I've spray painted these in a flat black paint. Then I'm going to do the detail in gunmetal and bronze. The turret section is going to have the same paint scheme. I found these cool little uh, machine guns on my uh, 3D printing website, and this looks like something that you might see on top of a tank. Uh, but I scaled them down and I'm going to put them on the sides of the structure there. So I think this is going to be really cool. So right now I'm just painting these up with a little gunmetal and, uh, you know, a few other colors. But I'm going to spare you the details on the painting because nobody wants to watch me paint little things like this. So I've got all of my components here that are painted up. I've got my turret here with the mini guns that are going to go up on top here. I've got these smaller sentry guns, which are going to go on the sides of the sentry tower. Uh, I painted up all my doors with uh, uh, gunmetal and brass. The cool thing is I have a whole bunch of extra Lego stuff. Uh, I've got a whole bunch of bins of miscellaneous Lego pieces, and so things like this are perfect uh, for this build. This is all Lego over here. I'm going to use those pieces on my structure as well. I just cut out these 3 8 inch uh, strips of cardboard. Uh, these are just from cereal boxes. And what I'm going to do is uh, bend these into a corner shape here. And I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and put these on the structure here to make it look like it's fortified a little bit more. Before I glue those pieces on, I'm giving the whole structure a dry brushing of granite gray. The corner pieces for the front of the turret are being painted with gunmetal. Yeah, that gives it a much better look. We are ready for a black wash now, so I'm going to go ahead and do this. I'm going to do the structure just alone without anything else on it, and then I'll start adding all my pieces on there. All right, we've reached the point where I am ready to start gluing all of these pieces onto my platform. This has been black washed, it's all ready to go. Um, so I'm actually gonna start by gluing this piece on the, on the top here. Okay, these little sentry guns here, I'm gonna put on the ends here and I'm just gonna poke a hole in here. I used a drill bit here to poke a hole in the top of the structure and fasten these gun turrets on both sides. Then used a little crazy glue to secure them on top. After that, it's time to start gluing all of the rest of the detail pieces to this sentry tower. Today I'm going to be adding a few details on here. Uh, I go to my favorite 3D printing website, thingiverse.com, and I looked up Searchlight, and I think I looked up Spotlight, Searchlight, and I found this cool little thing here, and this is basically a Spotlight or a Searchlight, and I thought it would be appropriate to have one of these on the side of this building because if you need to pan around and see what you're shooting at, then that needs to be part of this tower here. So. I'm gonna glue this on today. I put an extra little rail up here on top just for some added detail. And I also have a antenna tower. Being that this is a sentry tower, it should be operated remotely and this is gonna be the receiving antenna. And now we can put our search lights on here. One there, 
And these are functional. I might even put lights in those. Pretty functional sentry gun tower equipped with everything you need to kill people. Next, I decided to try a different paint technique here by using slate gray on the walkways. And later I'm gonna go back and try and give these an aged look. The grading on the walkways is getting a coat of gunmetal. Most of the exterior pieces are going to get a gunmetal finish. Other pieces like the industrial pipes and shutters are painted with bronze. I'm also using an antique gold to dry brush over the gunmetal and this is going to give it a rusted look. I'm going to use the same technique on all of the gunmetal parts of the sentry tower. I wanted to give the walkways an aged look, so I'm just brushing a gunmetal here, just dry brushing around the edges, and then I'll black wash it later. Okay, so after all that dry brushing, we are ready for a final black wash. And this is going to mainly be for all the additional pieces that I put on the sentry tower because I did black wash it once, but I'm gonna do a second black wash with everything on it. That concludes this week's build. I hope you enjoyed watching me build this really cool sentry gun tower. This was a fun project, as was the animation too. So please send me your comments, and as always, subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you next week for another build or challenge.